hey, if your UV water sanitation system is beeping like this uh, at you, it probably means that after one year, your bulb is now worn out and you need to replace it. And uh, you can find these replacements on Amazon. I'll put a link in the video description. Um, but changing that out and replacing it from the unit itself here, um, it's not very difficult. I'll show you how to replace the bulb, how to take out the crystal sleeve liner that's inside your unit and how to clean that and put it back in and then replace the bulb and then go right back up to your unit here and turn off that beeping sound and reset it for another year. So removing the bulb is pretty easy. First thing I do is take the power off and then there's a plug here that you'll lift and as you lift it up, the bulb will come right out with it. And uh, you'll need to separate the bulb from the power cord like this and then lift the bulb right out of your out of your unit. So something else you're going to want to take a look at when you're changing your bulb on your UV system is the inside crystal. So there's a crystal sleeve, looks like this, uh, that exists inside the unit and has two O-rings, one on either end of it, like this. So you're going to want to take the pressure off of your UV system, uh, turn off the water, maybe open up the some uh, valves to just get the pressure down. And then you're going to want to um, unscrew from the bottom this cap here, and then you'll see a little bit of this glass, probably about half an inch, sticking down, and you'll want to pull that straight down and out. And you're going to have water drain, so you're going to need to have a drain bucket down here too. Um, water will drain through the center here. When you get your new, when you get it out, you're going to want to make sure it's clean. And that's the point, is that you can get some mineral buildup on here over time. Uh, but I found in this case, this one's been installed for four years and hasn't been cleaned yet. And I just took it out and it's still crystal clear. So you could run some white vinegar on it, some light acid, just to make sure it's clean. Put your new O-rings on, and then you're going to want to reinstall that just the way you took it out. But given that mine was clean after four years, I'll probably wait a couple years before I pull this apart again. So what I'm going to do is just leave the O-ring on one end, and then I'm going to drop it down in. You want to make sure you don't let it pass all the way through and fall on the ground and break. So I've got the O-ring on the top. It's just barely touching there. And now I'm going to put the O-ring on the bottom. And I've got the crystal just sticking out about a quarter inch on top and bottom. And then for the bottom of mine, it has a spring and then the cap. And that spring looks like it sets inside. And now I got that cap set. And now for my top, I've got another cap with a pass through for the bulb to fit in. That'll also compress that O-ring slightly. And now I've got my quartz liner reinstalled. Replacing the bulb is the same as you did when you removed it. You're just gonna set it down in and then replace your power plug. And get the bulb connected to the plug and then Take the plug into the unit, into the power supply for the unit. And now the bulb is back in place. So now I've got the bulb reinstalled, power reconnected, and I'm just going to check it for leaks and then I'll power it up. So far, everything's looking good with no leaks. Now to reset the alarm on the power supply, what you're going to do is find this button here on the side. Push and hold that button while you plug in power. And 
you'll see reset at the top, let go of the button, and now I have 365 days before my next bulb replacement. Hey, I hope this video was helpful to learn how to replace the bulb and clean the sleeve inside your UV water sanitation system. And if it was, please give the video a thumbs up. That'll help other people find it as well. And as always, have a great day.